Hi, I'm Jalayla Starr and the facilitator of the Countdown to 2012 workshop. For those of you who are interested in taking the workshop, let me tell you a little bit about it. The Countdown to 2012 workshop was put together to prepare you for what will occur in 2012 and to help you understand the events that may occur between now and 2012. First of all, I'm going to take you through the events that are occurring now and what has been done to alter the future uh, based on the current events. So we're going to be talking about the secret government. We're going to be talking about the global lead and its, and its purpose. And we're going to look at these things from the 3D perspective and also the higher perspective. And which is a perspective of God consciousness of the way, I guess you could say, the mind of God would see it and as well as the higher evolved extraterrestrial races out there who are here trying to help us and, and help and, and assist us in moving through these final five years. So we're going to talk about uh, the ET connection. We're going to talk about first contact. We're going to talk about Nasara. We're going to talk about uh, the Galactic Federation and what it's doing. We're going to talk about what you need, uh, the, the, the prophesied events like, you know, the inundation of Southern California uh, that has been prophesied, the split up, the splitting uh, in two of uh, the United States uh, at the Mississippi River due to the, to the New Madrid Fault giving way. Um, all of these are the prophesied events that, and, oh, you know, the, um, a pole shift, that's another big one, global warming and why these things are actually happening. Uh, we're going to cover a vast array of topics so that you understand the bigger picture of what's going on, why it's going on, and what we can do to change the outcome of these events. So let's talk about the future. There is a future timeline. Our future timeline is being affected by the timelines of past events. Now these past events have not, are not just here on Earth. They are out in the galaxy. There were four home worlds uh, in ancient times. The, in which were, with, that were inhabited by humans and those worlds were destroyed as a result of conflict and war with other races. Now you might think well how does that really connect? Well if you understand the bigger picture you realize that not all of us are here uh, and have spent all of our lives on earth. We have been other places out in the galaxy. You're beginning to realize that there is a connection to those places out there and those people have incarnated here and so they brought their timeline with them because when you incarnate on a planet you bring your timelines from your other places with you. Those events, two of which were called previous Earths, are their, their timelines are being played out on Earth right now and the final days of their timelines are going to be played out between now and 2012. So those planets didn't make it. And, but we have a chance to change the future based on how we deal with the now. So I'm going to teach you how to change the future. I'm going to teach you how to do that using something that every one of you have inside of you. It's called the inner technology. And that technology will enable you to shift your current reality in your personal life as well as alter major events that are going to occur in the future. One of the guides used to say to me, if when you do a major amount of emotional clearing on, on a particular issue, saying, um, you know, the death of a loved one, or now let's not use that one, uh, a major divorce that was very, very bitter, or the loss of a job, when you do clearing on that and you step out of being a victim of it, and you clear the resentment and the bitterness and the anger that you have, you can drop... Uh, a tidal wave by 50 feet. You can decrease this, the height by 50 feet. So everything that we do to clear is going to be affecting the coming possible earth changes. If we do our emotional clearing because our collective emotional bodies are the make up the, the emotional field of the planet, if we do our clearing the planet doesn't have to do the clearing for us. And the way the planet does it is through storms, hurricanes, tidal waves, tsunamis, um, floods, all of these uh, forest fires, all of these are the ways that the earth will purge the emotional field if we, if we fill it up with too much toxic energy. So 
the countdown to 2012 is not is not just about helping you understand the events that are going to occur between now and 2012, but it's also helping you figure out what you can do about it. And on that note, that the final thing I wanted to share with you is if you want to be safe in the future, it's not about where you live or how many underground bunkers you have. It's about the state of your consciousness. You will only draw to you the events that you need, and what you need is determined by how many fears you still have. If you do your emotional clearing and you clear away that stuck energy, that the magnet that, that energy magnetizes. So if it's not there, it's not magnetizing its likeness. So if you clear away your fears, you will not attract fearful situations. So really, it's not about where you live, it's about the state of your consciousness and the state of your emotions at that time and the and the health of your emotional field. So I hope you'll join me for the 2012 workshop. I think it's going to give you a lot of information, a lot of insight, and give you the peace of mind that everybody deserves right now as we move through these next very challenging and very exciting five years till 2012. Take care.